Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Yunikishi. I'm back again with another video. Okay. As you can see from today's title, I will be giving, you know, some advice, some tips, you know, to help you guys, to help other people, to help everyone, you know, I'm going to give some advice for people that do want to come abroad for school. So this is going to be a couple of minutes of me talking to you and you listening to me and us just, you know, giving each other advice and help, you know what I mean? So, um... Before I get into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you think about this video. If you do have advice of your own, make sure to leave it down below. There's never too much help. Do you get what I mean? Like, you can never help too much. So, let, let everyone know that you have some advice too. You know what I mean? Yes. So, I just want you guys to know before I start this video that I have been in Canada for two years. So... I can speak on this. I have been, I have scored in Canada for a while and I can give some advice. There's probably a lot more, which is why I want you guys to talk as well. But I think I can, I can, I can, I can talk to a certain extent. You know what I mean? Listen to me, listen to me. Like, like I do this all the time. Um, and yeah. And before I start this video, I just want to like, just say a day, right, right now that I did this hit on myself. That, that's it. That's, that's what I want to say. And if you are in BC, just make sure you, you comment down. Just check my Instagram and message me real quick and tell me you want me to do your hair. Put some coin in my bag. <laughs> okay, now let's get into the video. Um, Sorry if you are disturbed by eating while talking, but I am going to be having Skittles because I'm a foodie and I'm always hungry. Okay. <laughs> make sure you do not click off this video because i do have very important things to say and i hope you do listen so you don't get into trouble when you're here my first advice would be to realize like get it in the back of your head before you get on that plane that you are coming to an international country that means it's a country that harbors people from different countries which is which is why you would come here you know because they are accepting of your culture do you get what i mean but then you have to realize that people from all other different places have different beliefs from your belief do not try to force your opinion on anybody and you need to be open-minded that's actually just like it seems like something that's not that it's so important because like that's how you're going to get into trouble by just being closed-minded and being stupid you need to realize that Yes, we understand that in your country there's just white people, or we understand that in your country there's all everyone is straight, or we realize in your country everyone is light skinned. Do not come here and start sharing your unneeded, unnecessary opinion to make someone else feel bad. Twitter will come for you. I have seen it in different places. If you talk too much, if you if you don't have an open mind. To learn about different cultures and different things hmm. my next tip would be to be socially open don't be one of those people that's always in their room like I get it you're still you know or just entering this country it's no plenty money all of that I get it and you don't have that many friends but you're not going to make friends by staying in your room you're not going to make friends by always talking to the old ones you have. I'm not saying you should let go of your old friends by no means. Keep the one, the true ones because it's really difficult to find them. But be willing and open to make new friends. Go out, do stuff, explore. You will regret it if you come to Canada or you go to, that, to America and you do not explore. You would literally be on Twitter or on Instagram or on TikTok and people will be posting pictures of vancouver and you just be like huh 
this this is where I was too. I this is not my Vancouver because my Vancouver did not have waterfall. If there was waterfall, I would have gone. But you just did not take out the time to explore and go out to different places to enjoy yourself. And you not be thinking that the devil is doing you. You did yourself. When I just said explore, I'm not saying you should explore without sense. Just note that explore with sense. Explore with Google Maps. Google is your best friend. That you can literally know where you're going, what the building looks like, what the buildings beside it look like, how you are going to do like you can literally know everything you need to go about know about a place before you get there. Use that. Do not just your friends tell you, Oh, we're going to Revolving Tower, and you're like, Oh, that sounds like a nice place, and you just park, carry your bag and you just start strolling and following it like a dog. <laughs> they'll catch you and they'll put you inside trouble know where you're going Ex like don't just be following anybody like it like unless like even if you try like know where you're going do your research know how much money you're going to spend if you go to a restaurant that you think you're going to spend like, like mcdonald's and you get there and you're going to pay 30 dollars per plate and you get there and you only have 10 dollars in your hand to, you will wash plates know where you're going for you would they because they will embarrass you don't let them pay for, pay for you either because you start owing people and you don't owe anybody. You don't owe anybody. I don't I don't recommend it at all because you don't start owing people you don't know favors. None of that. Do your own thing till you know the real ones. Even the real ones is to backslide self, so be careful. Move with sense. Explore with sense. My next advice, um, when I did just say that like go out with friends on like the friends note, make friends with similar values. You need to know that like if you if you become friends with a smoker, you'll become a smoker. Show me your friends and I will show you who you are. If you decide to just be gallant and making friends anyhow, anyhow, now you see a palabra. Just if you make stinging friends, you become a thief. Be careful. Make friends with similar And on making friends with similar values, I did not just say make friends in similar values from your own country alone. Make friends from all over the world. That's that's the point of coming to an international place. You need to make, be able. You need to make friends from everywhere. Take up take advantage of the opportunity. Learn some Spanish. Hola, como estás? You know, like learn some things. You know, don't just don't just come here and just be making just English friends and just friends from your country, and then you get back to your country. What did you learn? Nothing. Nothing. You just wasted your. Not you did not learn anything about anybody's culture just my friends my friend just your country your country there's so many other countries like don't you want to explore like travel somewhere and be like oh i have a friend like if i go to mexico right now i have so many places i can pull up to and be like yo i'm coming to mexico like i'm coming to stay with you is that cool and like people will like be like yeah yeah like make friends all over the world before you start people hotel everywhere make friends my next advice will be to remember who you are where you are going somewhere new i know that you might want to you know start fitting in try to adapt to the to the environment but you need to remember who you are like stay true to yourself don't try to start forming for anybody start acting like who you are not because that's harder to keep up with than like keeping up with somebody you are not is harder than keeping up with yourself just stay stay yourself don't try to change for nobody be yourself like if no if the if people around you don't like you there's so many other options just make new friends don't try to change for anybody because those people are not changing for you so don't change for anybody don't change for nobody because nobody can change for you that's on period 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 now i decided to make this little sex this segment for the troublemakers you know to just help knock some sense into your brain just small I know you want to, you know, we're young, just having fun, we don't care who sees. I get it, I get it. You're young, you want to have fun, you want to, you know, enjoy life. But enjoy life with sense. Do you get what I mean? Do not go around breaking laws. This place is very systematic. Hmm? It's not like where you are from, where you can just, you know, put someone in somebody's pocket and you just go free. Nothing like that. You need to know the difference between the laws and rules. If you want to be a bad child, come. I'm not advising anybody to break any rules. 
but just make sure you're not breaking any rules that will get you deported because they will deport you without looking at for your passports they will not they don't even care who your father is who your mommy they don't even they they, they really don't care like there's nothing you can do it's gonna take a miracle from god once they deport you they deport you and your family will be asking you oh why can't we go to canada you will not know something you that was stupid how many years ago be smart don't go around start you want to form hard guy and start breaking the laws anyhow don't break any laws if your visa says spend to work only 20 hours work only 20 hours if they say you cannot smoke weed it's not time it's not time to experiment when you're not of age because they will deport you they will catch you they will catch you if you get into trouble talk to your parents straight away because i won't move i can't speak english english that will just be turning your head on your own speak to your parents when things get hard when anything you can just talk to them because they are the only person that can really help you they can't help you when you mess yourself up but they can help you when you have done something that is small and just talk to them so they understand and they know their child on to education <laughs> i don't know if you can anyone wants to hear this but i'm just going to say it because the education system here is really different and you need to realize that you need to take advantage of the opportunities that you do have here meaning that like your teachers are going to spend time to teach you they're going to take their time to make sure you understand things make sure you like they're doing it most of the most not all most of them actually love their job and they really want you to learn and prosper so take advantage of the opportunities if you don't understand something so you don't understand let go for extra hours if you need it email this email here they can message your teacher tell them i need help and they will help you don't be one of those i can't do it myself i want my lessons just from nigeria also 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 something that's very very important in this canada of the country and the united states of america and the london of the europe volunteer put yourself out there don't put i've already said they will just it's not all about academics over here like if you think all you want to do is just read book read book read book you will read book and become a librarian you need to be i don't believe you can you need to be you need to volunteer you can, in my school you can't even graduate without doing at least 30 hours of volunteer in the community whether you are supporting a cause whether you're helping poor people whether you're helping um old people whatever you're doing make sure that you're helping people in the community it's really really important make sure you're involved in sports music explore your talents and make sure you're a part of the community and you're doing something to help the world add put value add yourself into the community it's really really important especially if you want to go to a really good school it's really learn to tolerate people you will have a roommate you will have classmates that can be talking rubbish they can be moving mad but don't let them move you mad because if they move you mad both of you are now mad and once both of you are mad, they will just speak English and say, Oh, we think this person is a threat to our community, and we therefore don't think this person can be here anymore, and they'll deport you. It's it's not it's not even that difficult, it's not hard. When you are in your country, they they don't really have anywhere to take you to. So they will just leave you. But once you go out of your country to better yourself and you want to start moving mad with other people. You want to start fighting. You want to start shouting everywhere. <sighs> Label your stuff. If you think that it's only your country that they steal, they will shock you here. <laughs> your socks. Your pants. <laughs> your trouser. <laughs> that shirt you are wearing, that you are flaunting, somebody is eyeing it. And when you put it at the washing machine, that's the end. Leave your food in the fridge without labeling it. It's gone. <laughs> and somebody will eat it and they'll catch the person, but they have already eaten it. And when you were hungry, it was not there. And you cannot do anything about it. Don't be a thief with that boat. Know that you can steal your things. Okay. <laughs> my other advice that's really really important is to manage your time like i said already 
no one is going to chase you from that no one is going to tell you what to do in my school you literally have to be in class from 8 30 8 15 till 3 30 and you have study hall in the evening for about an hour and every other time is your time so you decide what you want to do with that time and if you don't do your work if you don't eat like the, the only thing you literally need to, you need to do is go to class and you don't even need to do that if you don't do if you don't go to class they will just that's your business they will catch you and they will deport you if i go to class but if like that's the only thing you need to do every other time is your time if you like don't sleep if you like don't eat if you like don't do your homework no one's gonna chase you for nothing okay i know i talk about being deported a lot but it's, it's a really real thing like i don't know why people think it's a joke like it's really scary yes. Don't start looking for illegal ways to make money, you they will catch you and deport you. And to my next advice, don't be stupid. Like, have fun, have fun, and make sure you have fun, but don't be stupid. Be smart, don't move mad with the rest of them. Use it. Advice. Oh, actually, if you are a black boy and coming to Vancouver, actually, if you are coming abroad, be careful who you let touch your hair. They can take you from a 10 to a 6. Still hairline. Be careful who you go to. Read the reviews. I've seen some men who have yet turned around because of this haircut thing. Get a good baba. Find a good baba. Hmm? And last but not the least, don't waste your parents' money. It's not cheap. Maybe your tickets is not cheap. They can use your tickets. Because Canada is so far from everywhere. Except from the US or Brazil or Mexico. But like, Canada is so far. Your ticket, they can use it to go to Greece. Don't waste their money. Your school fees, they can buy cars with it. Cars with it. Don't waste their money. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Be independent. Be free. Don't waste their money. Okay. That's what I'm going to tell you. That's the end of this video. I am going to put um, the pictures of the advice that people did give over here if you're still here by any chance god bless you i really love you but yeah um these are going to be the people advice that are here thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment down below what you think about this video share it if you're a parent show your child sit them down tell them to watch because it will help their lives your friends Help, you're not their friend if you don't share this video because you're not helping them. Help your friends. This is good advice. I like to mean, if you have any questions, make sure you do ask because I will answer. Yes. <laughs>